prepare for a workout. Oh yeah. Our favorite garage gal, AJ, has worked on muscle cars before, but none quite like this. The car's developing so much attitude. You know, this is like the first time we've ever designed a car with a girl. It's just a little sparkle. So what do you think about my new rear end? It's just beautiful. It'll be her very own custom Firebird. She's gonna be on fire. Overhauling AJ, making one fantastic Firebird, and unveiling it at the wild and crazy year one experience. She is just as giddy as you could be. Hurry up. Oh, oh my god. Pontiac Firebird gets a whole lot of love. Through the years, it's become a muscle car with a serious degree of style. And speaking of style, AJ has plenty of that. She's a beauty who's always had a thing for the Firebird. Now, she wants a Firebird of her own. I definitely picture her sassy, classy, with a lot of muscle. Who better to turn to than Kevin King and the guys at year one? We're going to need a 400 hood on it, don't you think? No, no, that's the hood with what I call the little nostrils. All right, that's correct. Okay, I definitely want the little nostrils on the hood. Nostrils are good. Yeah. That's part of the sass. One of the things I was thinking that may be nice would be to smooth this front bumper, make it fit the fenders a little better, and then paint it body color. As for having it the same color as the car, I like that, but this with the chrome, it's more me. Right. It's bling, man. It's gonna be right. bling. That's a bling, bling thing. I got you. It's just a little sparkle. Sassy? Yeah. And Phil's also thinking about adding a spoiler to the package. Make her look a little tougher. Yeah. Some attitude, which you're all about. Yeah, so now not only she can have sass, a little attitude with the spoiler yeah. in the front. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like the first time we've ever designed a car with a girl. Some guys get all the tough jobs. I don't see anything on it that I would really change. Okay. Except, like you said, just update the gauges. And I don't know about you, but I, I like low back seats in these cars yes. as far as no headrest. There was some talk about a modern day navigation system, but AJ likes things classic. Because we're going to keep everything pretty original, pretty stock. I don't know if I want something that modern right yeah. there. I picture her a dark midnight blue pearl. I don't like the steering wheel itself. It feels really weak to me. Do you have a steering wheel that's just a little thicker and... Boy, you got a lot of requests. I'm just saying, I'm very detailed. Okay, her ideas are on the table. And now it's time to get started by tearing it all apart. The fun part begins. Yes. Look at that. Teamwork here at year one. I'm gonna put some big gun power in your hand here in a second. All right. I like this little tool right here. She's a stubborn firebird, a bit like her owner. The car doesn't want to give up her part so easily, especially her front end. Everybody easy, right. yep. easy. There she is. She's not so sassy anymore, is she? She's got no front end on her. <laughs> Just you wait. AJ, we couldn't have said it better ourselves, and it's gonna be worth the wait. She's starting to come to life. Stick around for more Hot Rod TV. Welcome back to Hot Rod Television. TV's car gal AJ works with Year One to make her own classic muscle car, a smoking 68 Firebird, and she's making it with quite a team. The crazy guys at Year One, I 
love working with them and honestly when I decided to build my own muscle car they were the only guys that came into mind because not only do they build muscle cars and, and just really amazing cars that you can drive. You can show them too. I want a show car and I also want a car that you can drive because she's not going to be sitting in the garage. I'm going to be driving her. So the only people to do is year one. She looks pretty... There you go. Pretty old and worn. Old and worn, like that floor an area that might need a full do-over. And we're probably gonna end up replacing the whole floor pan. The floor pan's gone, but the windshield is in good shape, if they don't break it. Just ease out. People, it's all in the feet. That's right. This old bird is coming apart. The differential's out of it right now, laying on the ground. We're gonna come up here and take the subframe, the engine, and the transmission now. There it is. The next big step is to have this thing sandblasted and see what kind of condition the body's in. While these guys are wrapping up the decon, AJ's out back looking at paint. Okay, so my next task is choosing color for my Firebird. She started with a whole lot of paint chips. Well, out of the hundreds of them, I narrowed them down to, let's see, three, four, five, six, about seven of them. Now, that's still a lot to choose from. So one of the things I'm gonna do is just kind of fold this so I can see how the paint's gonna react to the sun. This one's too light. Okay, see, I like how this is reacting. You've got this blue that just kind of glows, but then the sides are really dark, almost like a black. Okay, I think this is it. This is the black sapphire pearl that was in here. Now it's here. Kevin, I'm gonna send this off to you and I'll see you in a couple weeks. So the 68 has come a long way in a short time. And after a good bath and a trip to the beauty salon, it's time to see if the boys at year one hit a home run. Kevin's a little nervous. Okay, so AJ's finally made it to year one. And after 3,842 different color choices and eight months of confusion, I sure as hell hope we painted this car the right color. Oh Isn't it my pretty? goodness. It was worth the wait. Yeah, I think so too. You did a great job. I want to. I want to touch it. Wow. It's, she's not even finished yet, and it's she's stunning. All right, Kevin. Well, now that paint and color, all this is done. I'm, I'm ready to finish her up. I think we need to get started. All right, let's go. Today, AJ sees that you can keep it classic and add a whole lot of new parts. Oh, yeah. Motors are 12 volts, 33 spline axles. Oh, such a difference. 373 gears. I mean, this almost looks like it's out of a spaceship or something. It's just strong, sturdy, just up to date. And one of the things I noticed, I mean, there's a lot of things uh, that I noticed, is I went from drum brakes to disc brakes. There's no comparison. It's going to stop on a dime and give you 11 cents change. So what do you think about my new rear end? Uh, it's just beautiful. A little nervous right now. The guys at year one really know how to handle my rear end. With finesse and care. Next, this sassy firebird is gonna take flight, and AJ can't wait to meet her new best friend. Oh my god! I'm in love. Welcome back to Hot Rod TV. It's a 68 Firebird for one hot driver. AJ's been thrashing on her dream car. A 1968 Firebird is at the halfway point of its rebirth. The boys at year one know cool cars, 
and the team here is anxious to get to the assembly. As AJ's Firebird evolves, we see that the new gear is all top of the line. Okay, so I see we have all my stereo equipment here, but what exactly is going in my car? Uh, we've got a Alpine head unit. You said you wanted something that uh, would control your iPod. I want to keep it pretty classic and pretty stock looking, so this is going to be the only modern element that's going to show. The guys at Boston Acoustics sent us some great equipment. We've got two amplifiers. These are um, their top of the line Z series oh, wow. uh, speakers, and their oval subwoofer. Now you got my wheels turning because I know initially I said I don't want too much of uh, the sound system exposed, but this is so impressive that I, I'm thinking I might want to just showcase this piece. Well, we can take it to the car and uh, kind of play around, and see what would work best for you as, okay. as far as uh, placement. As far as the subwoofer. We can either mount it uh, to where it's kind of facing up here and build a whole package tray, or, or it can be facing toward the back of the car and um, be concealed and you remove, remove a panel and you can see it or leave it exposed. Well, one thing that I've learned is building and designing a car is a lot of work, mainly decision making because it's got to be right. Yeah, you don't want to redo it. No, you don't want to redo it and it's, I just, I just want to do it once and do it right. and. I think so far, so good. Yeah. Well, the audio package was sweet, but now it's on to a totally different type of power. OK, AJ, last time you were here, we looked at the, uh, the Pontiac 350 that was originally installed in your Firebird. And what we have here, obviously, is the nice new clean engine that's going in its place. I just have to hug it first. Yeah, it is clean. Hug it now, because in um, a little while, it'll be, it'll be dirty. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. This is uh, it's from GM Performance Parts. 6 liter, 430 horse engine that you would see in, say, a new Corvette, a C6 Corvette. Bowler Transmissions has hooked us up with this really nice 4L60E. It's a four-speed overdrive, electronically controlled. Bowler provides the control and everything for it, too. The controls shift points, line pressure, and all that cool stuff. The boys have also updated the subframe. Wow, this is so much different than the old one. I love Made in the USA. Okay, let's talk about the driving experience. I know how the car feels to you is a, is a big important thing. Yes. This is the steering rack, and this right here is going to make a big difference in how the car feels to you. I mean, it's actually going to steer quicker, a lot quicker than the old version with a lot more road feel. This right here, upper control arms, the lower control arms, the springs, the shocks, and this entire suspension package is actually going to make the car handle so much better, it's unbelievable. Okay. So you'll get the steering feel from the rack. The handling side of things comes from, from these pieces right here. You know, when you were here before, we looked at the, uh, you know, not only the rusty subframe, but the big, ugly, rusty drum brake. Oh, yes. Big, huge bear brakes like this. This is the kind of braking setup you'll need to get good, repeatable stops time after time after time. Yeah, that'll make you stop. And speaking of brakes. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and finish up spraying the brake pedal assembly here on AJ68 Firebird. And we're going to go ahead and spray some Duplicolor uh, self-priming epoxy paint on it. Year one knows what to do when you want your ride to look killer, but these guys don't build trailer queens. We drive our stuff, so we need stuff that works, and this stuff right here works. Okay, the time is now. Let's get that engine in and get it working. All right, Mike, so it looked like it went in pretty easy, so would it be safe to say it was a perfect fit? Pretty close. We may have some minor adjustments fitting certain parts, but other than that, it should be plug and plug. Okay, so this motor is meant for this car. It is. It okay. fits perfect. That's all I gotta know. That's just the start of the big assembly, because AJ's ride has a long way to go before she's ready for the big show. There's a lot more coming up when we return to Hot Rod TV. Welcome back. AJ's building a Firebird with a whole team of experts. And in these final weeks, she's going to be checking in with all of them, starting with the crew at year one. Done. I love it. 
The interior's going in, and so is the new AC system from Classic Auto Air. Nice. I won't be sweating as I drive on those right. hot summer days. I like people drive like that. <laughs> AJ's custom Firebird will cruise along on some custom rolling stock. I'm here at Intro Wheels, and I'm about to see my wheels being made. The time it takes to machine each wheel depends on the complexity of the design. Since she kept the look of her design both clean and classic, AJ's wheels didn't take too long to make. They're perfect. It's just need to put a fine detail to it and okay, it's so gonna look like jewelry. That's exactly what I like to hear. I feel like catching it, but I know it's really hot. My car is gonna have a nice pair of shoes. And this bird's going to need a nice pair of shoes, because any day now, both ladies are going to the biggest and baddest hot rod ball you've ever seen. Now that my wheels are done, I'm off to the year one experience. The year one experience, that annual automotive bash in Brazelton, Georgia. The year one experience is like the ultimate gearhead's dream. That's because there's way more to do than simply walking around and looking at cool cars. But you can do that too. Today is the day that I get to see my car and get my car. But before that happens, I saw a really cool 68 Firebird that I want to check out. A nice doggy. So many different cars here. I mean, this is huge. You need a, an entire day, more like an entire weekend to see everything. Finally, she gets a look at somebody else's 68. Ooh, it's really nice. This was actually a color that I was thinking about, but obviously I went with the dark blue because that instinctively was what I really wanted to go with, but this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this is Jimmy, the owner of this very cool 68 Firebird. So tell me a little bit about your very cool car. I bought it, I've had it two years. Okay. I bought it with the paint job. But it was all factory original, uh, engine, running gear. Uh, I've since spent the last two years building the engine, putting all pro touring running gear in it, uh, building a car that you can drive, that handles, that stops, has good power. Well, I just tried to find the best state-of-the-art stuff that the market had to offer today and build uh, my dream car. So what was it about the 68 Firebird that you were attracted to? Um, I've always liked the body style, the nose, the whole setup of the 67 or 8. They're very similar. Uh, I cannot wait to see mine. She hasn't seen it for quite a while. AJ, obviously, she's seen the car during the build process. And every time you see it look more and more like a complete car, you know, that excitement builds. They all know she's excited. What I've seen and heard, she is just as giddy as you could be. Now, there's a lot of cool cars here, but I want my 68 Firebird. I want to see it now. They have her on pins and needles. I think the easiest way to keep her occupied is sit her butt behind the table and make her sign autographs. It's been a journey, but the journey's over. From rust bucket to supermodel, this car is finally ready to fly. It's just time to give AJ her car. Hurry up. Stick around. This is going to be fun. Welcome back to Hot Rod TV. We're at the Year One Experience in Georgia and awaiting the arrival of AJ's 68 Firebird. Word on the street is this car's a stunner. Even all the little chromey jobby dudes that she wanted us to put on it that we wouldn't normally put on the car. And she went ahead and had us put it on it and it really looks good. She's been very patient. I get mine today, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna come walk. You're gonna come, you're gonna come <laughs> see the reveal? Your car, okay. Yes. You know, probably the biggest challenge we have right now is, is keeping AJ occupied and busy, you know, while we sneak the car in. Well, it's about that time we're at the 2008 Year One Experience. It's time to give AJ her car. So, you know, nothing like pressure. We'll go give it to her right in the middle of an autograph session. You guys having fun today? Yeah? Cool. Are you anxious to see my car that I built? Yeah? Me too. I don't know where, where she is. Working with AJ on this project, one thing that we learned pretty quickly about is that she really has got a, a great automotive sense. She knows uh, 
exactly what she wants, and it, it, she, she really kind of made it easy. My car's running a little bit late today, but she's just like me, because I'm always running late. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> little does AJ know, it's now on the grounds of the event. Okay, I've been here all day, walking around, looked at all the amazing cars here, signed some autographs, took lots of pictures, and still no car. I want my car. Can I get a picture? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Uh -huh. Look at the color! I got my Georgia plate, even That's though right. I'm from Los Angeles, That's California. Right. I told Kevin, I said, I want a Georgia plate on this car. That's because she's a peach at heart. <gasps> Sorry, I just got choked up. Just like you designed it. That's what's cool about it, you know? Wow. And boy, did you have a design in mind. I did have a design in and mind. And stuck to it. Get in it. See what <gasps> you think. She is a dream. She had perfect seats. I fit perfectly in her. Between what I had in my mind and working with Kevin and the guys, she came out better than, than I ever dreamed. <sighs> my heart's still pounding. I wanted to jump up and scream, but then I wanted to cry, but then I wanted to do a cartwheel, but I really can't do cartwheels anymore. I'm in love. Kevin and the team of Year One, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've made my dream a reality. Love you guys. So what do you think of my car? It's a cool car for one very cool lady. We'll catch all of you next time right here on Hot Rod TV. I love her.